just see it, Kyle? Oh, I got that. Oh, she ain't really crying. She probably is crying. She's dumb. So. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I thought it would be fun to do a story time video today. Kyle and I get so many questions, even still, like, I, I think it's been February. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's been, been yeah, it's been multiple months since our engagement and we still get questions about um, just the proposal, how it happened, when it happened, did I know, was I expecting it, uh, just what did he say, just all those fun questions we get all the time even still. So I thought it would be fun to do kind of a story time video of us just kind of talking about the week leading up to the engagement, all the fun stuff that happened, and then our experience after the engagement. So, without further ado, let's just get started. So Sunday morning, he tells me that we're going to the country club to have breakfast with uh, Coach Bennett and his wife. And for anyone who actually knows them, they're the most down-to-earth people ever. So I did not feel the need to, I guess, like, do myself up like I didn't feel like I need to put makeup on I didn't feel like I needed to dress overly nice like I wasn't gonna wear sweats obviously but I didn't feel like I needed to dress to the nines to go have breakfast with them like they don't care so I was just kind of casually getting ready and Kyle was like oh I really think you should put makeup on oh like I really think you should wear this instead and I was starting to get really <laughs> mad <laughs> because he never cares about what I wear and never tells me like, oh, you need to wear makeup or any of that. So I was like, that is so rude. Like, why are you telling me I need to put makeup on? That is so rude. You never say that to anyone. I was getting so <laughs> mad. I was just trying to look out for her because I knew that, you know, we were gonna take pictures after and she would want make, at least a little bit of makeup on to, you know. Which is true. For the picture, so I, I was trying to look, look out for, for it, but I had to be the bad guy for a couple of hours. We're on a time crunch too because I had a my the UVA basketball cameraman agreed to you know take the photos for us, which was so nice, and he was set up in the country club, in a window, literally shooting right at the bridge where I was gonna propose, and the windows were tinted so you couldn't see him or anything. And I told him 9:15. Well, we didn't leave my apartment till 9:15 because. I took so long getting ready, but I didn't know like I didn't know that that was happening and that I needed to look right. good Like I just thought we were going to breakfast with the Bennett's and I could look fun like casual like I didn't think I needed to look good So and I was mad that you were telling me I needed to wear makeup like that made fair me point, that point. really hurt my feelings so We finally get to breakfast and we're fine. We're just hanging out he pulls up and we're walking and we had the most, like Kyle and I do not have awkward conversations ever. Like we just don't have, like we just talk like normal people all the time. And we had the most awkward small talk I think I've ever had in my entire life. He was just like, oh wow, the weather's so nice today, isn't it? And just like saying the most random things. To and be I fair, just, I was, you were probably I was so nervous. So nervous. Like I play in front of fifteen thousand people all the time, and I'm not even I'm not even nervous about that. But I was so nervous. <laughs> I'm sweating and shaking. I just remember thinking to myself, why is he being so weird? <laughs> you were, you were just being so weird. Yeah. I was. So my hands were freezing, but they were sweating at the same time. And my I was like had the chills, like I was shaking, like not like to where you can see me, but like inside I was like shaking. And I didn't want it to be like silent the whole time because then I was like, well, then she's just gonna be in her own head thinking like, oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Like, I just completely went off the script of what I told myself not to talk. So I was like, I was like, um, it was, it's actually a really nice country club and you know, it was beautiful. Lake and, and the weather actually was really nice. It was 60 and sunny when the day before it was like freezing rain. So yeah, we I lucked to, out with the weather. I had to go there Saturday with the cameraman Matt to make sure like the shots were good and blah 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 but it was very rainy and gloomy and I was really nervous it wasn't gonna be nice but it was super nice I was like so I said this I was like Lex when we get engaged we should come back here and have our engagement photos here and 
I knew as soon as I when said that. When he said that, she... I was like, oh, he's going to propose. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just knew he's not good at hiding stuff very well. No, but then I came back with a pretty smooth line. You did. I was like, or we can just get engaged now. And we were right in the middle of the bridge when I said that. And uh -huh. I turned around, got on one knee. She was crying, and then... Yeah, honestly, at that point, I don't, I couldn't tell you one word Kyle said. Don't know. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> because the whole basketball team and some of Kyle's friends were up there with the camera guy. And like he said, the windows were tinted. So I had no idea those people were there. Like, I thought it was just me and Kyle. But when he got down on one knee, everyone started banging on the windows and screaming. So I was kind of shook. Like, I just, so much was happening at one time that... <laughs> Like was so distracted overwhelmed. and overwhelmed by everything happening because like he was proposing and that was so big but then all of a sudden like we also weren't alone so I didn't really know how to react with people watching too because I don't know there's like pressure like oh people are watching me react how sure, am I supposed yeah. to react with people it's watching be, and like perfect I, I don't know it was just and they honestly really scared me when they started screaming because I didn't know they were there so at first I was like oh I don't know, but I don't even know what Kyle said. I just know I said yes. It was something along the lines of, you're my fairy tale ending, and blah, blah, blah. No, I'm sure. <laughs> no, it was more like, it was like, I've known you since eighth grade, and I knew the second we started dating that you were special to me, and that I want to spend the rest of my life with you, and, you know, I think, you know, God put us together for a reason, and I love you more than words can describe. And then at this point, after I said that, I was like, okay, she's not listening anymore. Yeah. She's very distracted and Definitely overwhelmed. Wasn't so I just cut to the chase and was like, would you marry me? And she said yes. Yeah, and then everyone started banging and cheering on the windows more. And then everyone just kind of like came out of the side door and they're all standing there and cheering and like, yay, kind of thing. And, and taking, taking videos pictures. and pictures and stuff. I thought it was, I don't know, I kind of, a little bit felt like Prince, Harry, and Meghan, like just a little bit, <laughs> because we were just like walking up the steps and like the wind was blowing and people were cheering yeah. and there were pictures. Was good company right there. Yeah, there's actually one picture that- You wanna pull it up? Uh, no, I'll probably just like insert it somewhere. Okay. But there's this one picture where I tell everyone like we look like, like the royal couple in this picture. like. We're just like holding hands, walking up the stairs, and we're all off guard laughing. Candid. And yeah, I think we look like the royal couple, but whatever. Anyways, it was a really special moment with everyone there to kind of congratulate us after, and I thought that was really cool that all of Kyle's team came to just celebrate with him. And even some of his close friends that weren't on the basketball team were there too. Uh, my roommate, Grant, his parents threw a, uh, not surprise, but like a last second, Engagement, uh, engagement party, party for, us. for us. It was so sweet. He's one of Kyle's roommates, but it was so funny because when Kyle and I were like in the bed calling people and texting people, Grant was just like in the bed with us, <laughs> just like laying there, just hanging out while we were making all of our phone calls. It was so funny. But um, yeah, his parents were so sweet and threw us a, like just this last second party, but it didn't even feel like it was last second because no, they, they made us. It for years. Yeah, they planned, they like made us this huge dinner. And then they got us a cake, they had balloons, they got us like sparkling cider. Little wine glasses. Yeah, cider, little yeah. wine glasses. I don't, it was crazy. It was dope. Yeah, and they got us like a card. I don't know, it was so sweet of them to do that for us. And they had people over too, like it wasn't just us and Grant's family. <laughs> they had like Kyle's friends over to their house oh. um, to celebrate with us. So that was super fun too, to kind of celebrate with everyone like that. The next day we woke up to like our engagement being on all of the news. Newspapers. Papers, but even like the evening news, the morning news, like all of the news outlets in Charlotte were talking about our engagement. We were on ESPN. We were on ESPN, we were in the Washington Post, we were in so many different news articles and newspapers and TV news and all the news you could possibly think of and I just remember like thinking it was so crazy that us being engaged was newsworthy. It was more about like the fact that Kyle was engaged. It doesn't really matter who he proposed to, it would have been a big deal. But I just thought that was so crazy because Well you were one of three girls and I chose for one just you got lucky. Yeah.
I'm very used to people, you know, having insight on my basketball life and career, but like my personal life, unless I put it on social media, is very personal. So like when we got engaged, I was not expecting like it to be on a yeah, national te and nationally televised. Yeah, and I'm used station. to Kyle being on TV and like us going on campus and like people stopping Kyle or us going out to dinner and people's like interrupting our dinner to talk to Kyle or to sign autographs. Like I'm used to Kyle being in the limelight all the time. No, like she's a celebrity too though. But <laughs> like I'm used to that. I don't know. I remember we went to I think it was like a home goods store or something because we were trying to kill time before we went and saw Black Panther or something and a random person in the store was like, Oh congratulations, like so happy for you guys or we I don't know, just like random yeah. stuff like that. Like people we don't even know are just like congratulating us and like wishing us a happy life like not online but in person when they see us or we like went to that pizza place that was next to the how do you say it boiler next to boiland one night boiling no <laughs> it's Boyle. a bar on, on ground Boyle. Boyle. after one of your games right yeah after his game and like the whole crowd that was sitting outside just started cheering for us. Like I just, I don't know. I just like it's awesome. We just it's awesome. It. Yeah, like totally awesome. Love it. I just was not expecting it at all. Like I'm just used to Kyle getting all the attention and basketball version of Kyle getting all the attention. I just was not expecting like our engagement to be such a big deal to everyone and for people to notice me sitting in a corner on UVA's campus. Like I had people come up to me and, and invite me to go to lunch with them because they saw me sitting by myself because Kyle was at class. Like I, no one did that before. So I just, I don't know. I think it's cool that you have a fan base like that. Yeah, we do now. Yeah, I guess we do now. All right guys, that is it for this video. I think we pretty much covered everything regarding our engagement story if you guys have any more questions or you want to hear more videos like this if you want to know more about kind of our story or you want to hear more about our wedding plans and what we're doing give this video a thumbs up or just comment down below don't forget to subscribe but until then it's pretty much it kind of with the doses. <laughs>